1.30. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Curl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're doing a challenge. It's hosted by Shimmy Diction, and there will be links in the description box below along with the list of ingredients. So, be sure to check it out because there's a special link in there you don't want to miss. Just saying. So anyway, the challenge was to purchase uh, no more than $15 worth of stuff from the Dollar Tree, which is a store in uh, America where everything is, you know, a dollar. So I believe the UK has some pound shops and stuff like that. And there may be other type stores or charity shops garage sales, that kind of thing, $15 limit, and uh, I went to my local Dollar Tree store and purchased, purchased that uh, tin there, it had puzzle in it, y'all saw that, now I'm wiping it off with the alcohol to get rid of the sanding dust, because you don't, and you don't want to be breathing that, because I'm going to be putting paint on it, so I bought the tin with the puzzle, and I bought the decorative napkins there, and a box of envelopes. Now, really, I didn't need the envelopes, but, you know, I wasn't quite sure how many I had at home. So, yeah. So, we're going to decorate the tin, and we're going to make a journal to go in it. Now, this, uh, as you saw, I sanded it because I'm going to be painting it. I know I said that once, didn't I? So, this is uh, just white gesso, and I put uh, a couple coats on there. I also, you probably caught a glimpse of the washi tape. Oh, he can, y'all. <laughs> uh, I put washi tape around there because when you put a, the lid back on your tin, you don't want to have any extra stuff on there because even paint, thin paint adds enough thickness that your lid doesn't necessarily want to fit. So the washi tape was to protect that edge. And there I am tracing around the decorative napkin, 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 napkin that I am going to use. And I've already pulled the white backing off. Some napkins have two layers and some have one. This one had one. Uh, your more inexpensive napkins tend to only have one layer of white paper. So now that is a uh, matte medium. And we're going to collage on our decorative piece. I've got my matte medium on there, pretty juicy. And once your napkin's down, it's pretty well down, okay? And I'm smearing it out, uh, going over it with more matte medium on top because I want to get out uh, as many of the bubbles. And I did get out all the bubbles. Not necessarily all the wrinkles, but I got out most of the, the or all the bubbles, okay? So set that aside and dry, and I'm going to uh, cut a piece for the bottom side of the tin. I'm actually going to leave it bigger than the tin because I'm going to fold it over and uh, wrap it down on the sides and ends. And there's the matte medium again. Uh, list of uh, in the description box below along with links, hopefully cross fingers, to other videos because this is, you know, I am doing this in advance of all the linkages that's going on. Thanks, Jimmy. This is such a fun idea, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. Speaking of Shimmy, she is going to be having a giveaway. That's right, people. You heard it. Giveaway. Now, here's the deal. You need to watch the videos. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. No, we're not going to force you to. Um, I said like. Subscribe. Share. Because you want your friends to, you know, be part of this and learn some good, pretty art and stuff. So, uh, there I pulled the washi tape off. And I'm going to put some ribbon around the um, other part of the uh, lid edge. I set that aside over there so it can dry pretty good. So, anyway, in the description box below, there will be a link to a raffle copter. Once you watch the video, con kind comment. <laughs> you almost had me on that one, didn't you? Kind comment, share, subscribe. Click on the raffle copter link 
and enter for a chance to win a $20 gift card to the Dollar Tree if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., it will be a $20 uh, that I believe will be PayPal to you. Okay. And more information in the description box below. Be sure to read it and watch all my fellow collaborators. Okay? Okay. So, here we go. Now, I'm putting the washi tape on the part that is collaged. It's at the bottom of the tin because I want to protect it. And I'm going to stuff my extra napkin in there. And I went outside and spray painted it. I lost the video where I spray painted it, but trust me, I spray painted it. <laughs> Obviously, you can see. And then besides that, the video is plenty long enough. It's like 18.18.89 minutes long. Okay, just, yeah. Y'all can count. <sighs> Silence. <laughs> so there I was drying it and, uh, now, once it got really good and dry, I decided I didn't like the edge because it still had pink on it, which I should have known it was still going to be there because, you know, I didn't wipe it off or not wipe it off, sand it off. So I'm taking care of that now. I'm sanding it with a sanding block. It's a, it's a foamy sanding block that you get from a home improvement store near the sheetrock uh, stuff. Okay, because that's what it's for, is for standing, yeah. So anyway, here's the envelopes, and uh, this is we're making signatures for the journal that we're going to put inside the little tin. So I've measured off, uh, I don't, your measurements are going to depend on your size of tin, so I'm really not going to give you any measurements, but I measured it off. I'm cutting a little wedge off of that part, because uh, when you fold it, it's going to interfere. The first one I folded up and stuck down inside the envelope. The second one I just folded over to close that portion of the envelope. Now I'm trimming off the end. As you can see now I have a pocket on the top and a pocket on the side. All right. Now I'm going to show that to you one more time. We took our measurement. And that's a, a scoreboard. I didn't put that in the list of ingredients. Anyway. Trimming out a little wedge because those little, you know, it makes a difference when you're folding overs and stuff. One went inside the envelope, the other one went outside the envelope. Now I'm folding it the opposite direction, still trimming off that one edge. So now I have a top um, and a side, opposite sort of opposite direction. I take three, um, three envelopes to each signature, okay? Now, uh, my top one is fine. I'll be slipping a tag in there. My side one needs a little thumb knot. So I've taken my little uh, three-quarter inch circle punch. I've marked it with a piece of um, washi tape. How to do that for tips for that. Check out my tips, tidbits, and whatnots linked above in the iCard and hopefully in the description box. So I'm showing you that and I'm not putting all my thumb notches in the same place. I'm kind of spacing them, you know, down, top, middle, down. Now I'm going to round the corners. I tapped all three of my little pages together so I could just round all my corners at one time because it's, it's fairly thin envelope. Now we're going straight into our, uh, oh, four signatures. Three envelopes to each signature and four signatures. So I've measured out for my uh, cover. I'm just using a cereal box, also known as faux chipboard. Mm -hmm. It's not really faux. It's real chipboard. It's just, you know, food boxes. So I got all that measured out. Now, what I didn't show you was, was where I took that, uh, up that same sanding block and sanded the shiny off of the printed side of the faux chipboard really helps make a difference. You don't have to, but it, it, it you know, in my opinion, it makes a difference. So there was this, the uh, spine reinforcement, and I'm trimming off the edge because I want it to fit in there, but not be really tight. That's why I'm kind of trimming and trying it on and trimming in there. See, I slid it back and forth just a little bit. So now we're gonna glue it on. Aileen's Turbo Tacky. Glue, or no, original tacky glue. That's what that is. I like that stuff. Aliens call me. So there we 
here we go. And make sure that's stuck down pretty good. Now we're going to, uh, I put on a coat of white gesso and I'm covering over that with white paint mainly because I wanted the uh, printed side to be totally covered. There we have a fluid matte medium because now it's time to adhere our napkin down which I've already cut down uh, smaller but yeah and just smeared down all on the one side. This is going to be the outside of the little journal and I believe I did really well hey, gun, y'all, and got uh, the majority of the bubbles out and we're going to trim around for the little corner. Now I was just taking wedges out but I ended up trimming up uh, the other part which you'll see momentarily. So now we're going to fold it over towards the inside and that's the whatever top bottom I don't know what it is and uh, yeah that medium. Now we're going to trim that edge up because we're going to fold that over to the inside as well. And a word of advice, even after you uh, take your measurements for your tin, try it your, um, you know, before you get your journal cover all made and covered, make sure that it does fit in your tin because sometimes things have a habit of growing slightly. And by slightly, I mean like an eighth of an inch is too much. Okay, so check it out. Make sure you have the right size because I have two little journals now. Two, I take love them. So any hoots? Uh, there we go. Oh, did I say leave cup comments? Yeah. So now we're going to work on our closure for the journal. That's just a little tiny eyelet, and this is a piece of elastic. Um, stuff. It came on a pair of shoes. It held the shoes to the hang tag doohickey. But I'm using it. Up cycle. And I'm punching a hole. I'm getting it uh, far enough away from the edge that it won't necessarily pull out even though I'm putting the eyelet on there. Okay. So I'm trying to set the eyelet. I'm using the crop -a dial. I get a little fumbly. Oh, I've knocked my eyelet out. Had to put it back in trying to get it back in the hole because I want the rough side of the eyelet on the end of the eyelet on the inside of the journal and it was a little too rough and I had to hammer it down a little bit. Now we're going to fix that with a little cover. Punched a three-quarter inch circle. Use the crop dial to poke a hole in it and now we're going to glue it on with our glue. Made sure my center hole was still open. Mm-hmm trimming off because it's poking out just a little bit. Now I'm going to thread that through. Made a slip knot and now I'm going to tie the two loose ends together in a it ended up being a really good secure knot. Okay and there we go. It's just going to wrap right over because we're making a dory type uh, dory style journal. Now I'm taking um, Beggar's twine. <laughs> ah, beggar's twine. And I'm wrapping it around. Now, because I have four signatures, I want to make sure I have four loops on the inside of the journal. Okay? And I'm going to tie the outside two loose strings together. And I'm going to wrap, um, well, I'm going to put the, the signatures in. Why don't we wait till we get to that part, APG? Okay. Sounds like a good deal to me. So now we're going to slide in our uh, signatures. Make sure your uh, openings for your pockets are facing up and to the outside. Otherwise, your journal's upside down. Okay. So that's what we did. I'm going to spare putting that last one in there. Do I show you? Yep, I show you. I could have cut it out, but I showed you. Oh, okay. get in there. So. Now I'm going to take the longer of the string and wrap it around all of them so it kind of pulls them just a little tighter without bowing the journal. Okay, That's another reason why we have the reinforce, uh, the spine reinforcement in there of the chipboard. Okay, And my strings are too close together so I'm going to slip one through two of the strings. You just kind of add lib it, okay? Till you're happy with it. Because it has to make you happy, all right? Because this one makes me happy. Just saying. So there we go. Now I'm tying another double knot. And then I'm going to uh, 
splay out the twine so that all the threads are not connected to each other. They're all loosey gooseys. You know, fuzzy. Not really fuzzy. Sort of fuzzy. But not. And uh, so there we go. You can see it's kind of all loosed out. Here's the inside of the journal. You can also put a pocket on the inside if you so desire inside the cover. There's our top pocket and there's our side pocket. See the thumb notch? Top pocket, side pocket, thumb notch, and so on and so forth through the whole journal. And uh, put the closure around it. There it is. Flip it around there. Flip, flip, flip. There we go. Oh, man. I'm really happy with it. So here's our tin, and it fits barely, but it fits. Okay, and there's our lid. It goes on pretty good. I don't like the edge, even though I spray painted it. I just didn't like it, so I thought, you know what? Let's just put some more ribbon on there. Now, some Dollar Trees have ribbons. Uh, you are sort of limited to what your Dollar Tree has. That's why you need to go there and find your project stuff. Well, I guess the challenge is over, but anyway. So there's a, a journaling spot or a photo mat and tags made from an earlier project, which should be linked in the I card above, upper right corner, and hopefully in the description box below. And so I just put it, put all of them in there, and uh, it made me happy. There's the tags. I'm putting the rest of the tags in there. It doesn't matter which face is which. Now, I do tuck the uh, strings into the journal so that uh, it will fit into the tin. Makes a lovely little thing. I'm really, I'm really happy with this, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. You just want to make sure you don't put too much stuff. Oh, that card's not stuck in all the way and it's sticking out. Okay. No. Anyway, uh, you want to make sure that your tin lid still fits. That's why you don't want to put too much stuff on um, that portion of your tin. You know, yeah. And we're coming up for the photo montage. Oh, I did spray triple thick on the outside of the tin to make sure everything was nice and secure on there. And it is. I said it makes me happy. I hope it makes you happy. Be sure to watch the other videos, and uh, once you leave a kind comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, click on that raffle copter link and sign up for the giveaway and follow along with the videos. Thank you so much, Jimmy. I did enjoy this challenge, okay? Thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all.